Good morning guys. It is now Sunday. I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh, it's Monday. I don't want to drive so far because Monday I have a doctor's appointment and it's like a doctor's appointment that I've been waiting for like four months to get one regular like checkup appointment at a primary care doctor because I'm trying to get a primary care doctor. I don't have one. So I was just like, this one, this person was recommended and they were just so booked up guys. But anyway, got that appointment tomorrow. I thought it was today. I was like, I don't want to drive so far. It's like a 45 minute drive for this appointment. And I really should find a doctor that's closer to me uh, because if I ever do need to go to like get like an appointment for a primary care doctor, whether it's after work or something, like I need something closer because I need to be able to get, like, get there um, and still make the appointment without having to take a day off of work preferably um but i don't know it's monday not monday oh my god it's not monday it's not monday it's not monday carolina it's not monday it's sunday 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 okay um i'm about to make myself a matcha latte i've been really addicted to matcha lattes lately got my cute little pineapple cup um here's the cute little pineapple lid so cute so we're gonna make some uh, matcha latte right now. Um, I got like this new matcha. A company sent it to me for review. But guys, I did like a comparison video with the other two matchas that I have. This is the greenest of them all, which means that it has the most benefits. And I didn't know like my other ones were not so green at all. And actually not really beneficial to me at all. <laughs> So what the worst one was the one from nuts.com. It was like yellow and not even green Like when I finally put them all next to each other. I was like wow. I've been drinking the wrong matcha this whole entire time but This matcha is the greenest of them all rise matcha. I'm not um, Sponsored to talk about it in my vlog or anything at all um, I have it on my main YouTube channel, but I wanted to mention it here because I am making a matcha latte with this and it's just like by far the best matcha I have owned so far so we're making myself a matcha latte and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it it's gonna be a matcha iced latte I guess it's not with like the coconut butter and stuff which is my favorite hot matcha latte but iced is I guess a little similar just also a little different first up I just need some hot water don't worry, I'm not putting it out on the stove. <laughs> putting it in the microwave. Um, so just some hot water. I'm just gonna microwave it for like a couple of minutes. So I ended up not needing the full two minutes. I put it on after like a minute and 15 seconds. It was like boiling in the microwave. So I took it out. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of this into my nice little pineapple cup. Guys, look how green this matcha is. Like, I don't even think you guys could tell, but super green so I just put in like a heaping I guess like teaspoon of it into my cup then I'm gonna put in some hot water and this just helps it mix better now I'm not fancy with like the that whisk matcha thing and stuff I just use a regular spoon get rid of all the clumps just mix it it's super green in here right now it smells like grass, but I promise it does not taste like grass to me in the end. I make sure all the clumps are out. Then I added my sweetener. You wanna add in your sweetener when it's hot. I'm actually doing this coconut cream thing. Um, it's Amaretti coconut cream syrup. I just, I love it so much and I use it like all the time. I don't know why I like it that much, but I do. So I just put in a little bit of this. And you could use agave, you could use honey, but you want to add it in while it's like hot. That way it'll mix better. So I just add in literally like a little bit. I don't know how much I added in, but just a little bit. Then I'm going to grab some ice cubes and some milk. Throw in some ice in here. And then I use oat milk. You can use whatever other milk you want, but... Now's the time you add in your milk. And I just like fill it up. Mix it a little more. Oh, I did a bad job mixing um, with the matcha. I see some dark pieces floating around. Oh no, that's the ice. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so then I got my straw. 
I got my lid and I got myself a matcha latte. So cute, love it. If you guys remember the box template I showed you guys yesterday, I said I needed something that was like three and a half inches wide. Well, it's quite big. So what I'm making, which is the Christmas tree like advent calendar kind of thing, it's gonna be gigantic because it's like six rows. And it's gonna be pretty tall, guys. <laughs> but I made the one box. I have to make another 24 of these. I mean, I guess I could do like the 12 days of Christmas um, leading up to it instead of like the 25, but I think 25 is more fun. Um, so right now I just have like a green kind of thing on the outside. I'm using um, a sour apple green cardstock. It's just what I had. And then I'm using like cherry red cardstock for um, the inside box. When I attached like a little ribbon so you could like slide it out. I'll show you guys. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but it just looks like this. And you slide out and then I could put something in this box here. So it kind of just goes like that and they go together. So the outside box is obviously a little bigger so that I could fit the one on the inside in and I put a pattern paper on it. It's still gonna get numbers um, for I guess that day once I figure out what I wanna put in here. Um, but yeah guys, and like I need to figure out like how I wanna organize it and everything first. I feel like you could kind of see like a little bit on the inside. Maybe I should make the box like even a little bit smaller um, so it pushes in further. But you know what, it's gonna be like layered, so um, there's gonna be another box on top of it, so maybe I'll just like keep it down. Um, as long as my babe doesn't do any peeking or anything. But um, it's a good size, and I could fit like quite a bit of stuff in here. It's just, you know, big. <laughs> so when I have a stack of like six of these, it's gonna be tall, because it's six rows, and this is gonna be six wide here, and then five, and then four three and then no it's gonna be six six five four three and then one at the top um so it's gonna be quite big but um i'm gonna make it anyway <laughs> i just don't know where i'm gonna store it so that's the challenge i mean i should probably not even put it together at this point but um i want to i just i don't know where i'm going to put it at this time <laughs> so i'm gonna have to figure that out um yeah, because it is July, and this is not until December, so. I might just make all the pieces, I don't know. Um, but I do want to just like finish it, it's just going to be really big. So I was in the middle of crafting and my babe called me a couple of hours ago and he was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just crafting. He's like, come outside, I have a delivery. And I'm like, what? So he actually made um, pasta like the fusilli today with vodka sauce, cause he knows I love vodka sauce and he made it for dinner today with, for him and his family. And then he brought me some of the leftovers cause I love anything with vodka sauce. And I was like, oh, you're so sweet. And then I was like, and he was just gonna go home after. And I'm like, well, that was like a 30 minute drive and you're just gonna go home and just drop it off. So we just went out and got Carvel like soft serve ice cream and oh my God, it was gigantic. We got the medium size, had no idea how big it was. Neither of us finished it. It was just humongous and I dripped sprinkles all over my babe's car. And I, at first I was like outside. I'm like, no, I'm dripping everywhere. He's like, just come inside. So I held it like over um, like the bottom thing where you keep your feet. That way I was thinking he could just take it out and like hose it down if he needs to. So I didn't make too much of a mess, but Lots of sprinkles died in that car today. <laughs> um, so I'm back in my office just crafting. I'm not putting all the boxes together, but what I am doing is cutting out all the pieces so that I could put them together at like a later date. I just don't have the space to store all these boxes at this moment in time because this would be six layers. 
and then they would all be like organized into like a tree so I don't have space I did um, one myself to test out then I did one because I started filming like a video on how I'm doing it because that will go up in like November or something um, so I started filming that video of, like how I'm putting it together and stuff but the rest of the stuff I'm just gonna keep like this for now until I'm ready to assemble it when it gets closer to Christmas because I honestly do not have anywhere to put that right now all assembled and stuff so I know it's a little crazy that I'm getting ready for this but like I'm happy that I'm doing this because this is already taking a lot of time it's a lot of paper I just ordered some more on Amazon because I didn't have enough um, so I'm glad I'm doing this super early and not like like stressed out about it because I remember last year I wanted to create like that scrapbook for my babe for our one year and I had like a week to do it and I'm like any chance I got for free time I was working on that like non-stop not doing anything else and I hated that rush so I don't like being in a super rush so I'm just like doing this ahead of time and preparing stuff ahead of time and I already made my list of what I want to put into these little boxes so I'm extremely prepared this year and I'm very proud of that I know I know it might be a little crazy but I'm very happy that I'm like prepared ahead of time this year I also just downloaded Lifetime Movie Club we're about to watch this movie but um, Lifetime Movie Club and I'm doing a seven day free trial and then it's only four dollars a month after that and then there's like Lifetime Originals and stuff and this is the last chance to watch so I'm gonna try to go through these movies so I clicked on the first one so that's why we're watching that then there's recently added which will be on here later but I don't know if these are like actual Lifetime Lifetime movies or if these are like other movies so I'm doing the seven day free trial and I'm gonna see if I like it because I don't have like Lifetime or anything and I love Lifetime so this is great for me. This is my story and it's real. It's not a fantasy or a nightmare, although it has own. I have no idea what I've been doing all day. It's one o'clock in the morning. I know I just made a card for my friend. Um, so this is the card that I made. I made like a window slider card. I haven't figured out like how to arrange this on here yet, but I wanted it to be like closed. So I put like a flap on the front of it. So it opens like this and then you slide this piece out. It's hard to show you guys with one hand and then it just looks like that on the inside and you slide that back and you close so I haven't figured out like how to arrange this on a card yet but I'm getting there then I was thinking of like this hugs die that I have um, cut out but I think I might do this in a different color so I don't know but it's already it's late guys it's 106 in the morning so i'm actually gonna get ready for bed now um i put on the ac in my room so that it cools down i think we're gonna be okay in there now this guy has been chilling with me again sleeping on my pillow over there he loves that spot and every time i'm in my office he's just chilling there he's so sweet anyway guys i will see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow tomorrow's next daily vlog Hi.